What? Hey guys! Guess what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna find the volume of a prism, the surface area of a prism, and the lateral area of a prism with the help of my friend Alec Cruz, the cameraman, so you know we can uh, uh, make a little present for our uh, good friend uh, Jake Turetsky. He's um, a good friend of ours. He's in our period 11 12 geometry class. And what we're about to do today, it's to do with geometry. Let's take a listen. Okay, you see this? This is a prism, and this is what Jake's present is going to go in when everything's all said and done. A prism is a polyhedron with congruent and parallel faces. Yeah! All right. So you see these pair of beauties? These wonderful Nike shoes? This is what is going to be Jake's present. And we need to find the volume of the box to make sure that these shoes will fit inside the box with no hassle. And what is the volume you ask? The volume is the amount of space a solid encloses. And to find the volume, the formula is BH. That's it. BH. BH, B is, um, is the area of the base, times, and then the H is times the height. The dimensions of this box is that the length is 13 inches, the width is 9 inches, and the height is 4.5 inches. I'll have my friend Alec Cruz work out the problem for you so you can know the volume. This is how you find the volume of the box. The volume of the box equals the area of the base times the height. The area of the base is 13 multiplied by 9, and the height is 4.5. The area of the base is 117, and the height is 4.5. When you multiply that, you get 526 and a half inches cubed. So now that we know the volume of this box, that means that these shoes will fit nice and snug in this box. But, guess what? We're not done yet. We need to find the lateral area and the surface area in order to find out how much wrapping paper we will need to wrap this up as a present because, as a present. because you know why? We're putting in a wrapping paper because we love Jake just that much. Now, what is lateral area and surface area? Well, let me explain that to you. Lateral area is pH, not BH. PH with a P. P as in peanut. Okay, the P stands for the perimeter of the base. See, you know, like perimeter of the base, okay? And the H stands for the height of the figure. It's not, it's not rocket science. Okay, so. The surface area is the lateral area added on to the area of the base times 2, which in other words is the formula pH plus 2B. Now in case you wanted to know, um, the lateral area is the area of the lateral faces. I mean, that's simple enough. And the surface area is the total area of the faces. You know, you know that's it. Now, I'm going to have Alec Cruz find the lateral area of this here box and the surface area of this here box. This is how you find the lateral area and the surface area of the box. The lateral area is the perimeter of the base times the height. The perimeter of the base is 44 and the height is 4.5. When you multiply that, you get 198 inches squared. The surface area is the perimeter of the base and the height plus two areas of the base. So the surface area is 198 plus 2, 134. The surface area equals 432 inches squared. 
So now that we know the lateral area and the surface area of this box, with the surface area being 432 inches squared, we can we now know that we need 432 inches of wrapping paper. Now let's wrap this up and give this to Jake. Let's go. Jake! Wow! It's a prism! It has volume, and it has lateral area, and it has surface area. These are my style.